Well, it's time to take a look at the world of showbiz. And with the Oscars just two days away, this week, the spotlight's on Hollywood. Everybody comes to Hollywood. We want to make it in the neighborhood. Enough my memory. First up on the red carpet this Sunday, all eyes will be on Oscar nominee Monique, who caused a furore with her appearance at the Golden Globes after she showed up sporting an unsightly pair of hairy pins. <laughs> no, look closely, yes. Uh, the hairy faux pas was revealed when she had to hoist her skirt up because it had been raining. But would it be acceptable for her to go all fuzzy to the Oscars? No. No, no, I can't even look at that picture. It's really hairy. No, I don't. I don't like it. I don't. I, you know, no. no. And especially like the night of the Oscars. I, you know, you have to take the fact that it might rain and you might have to hoist your dress up. Yeah. Or in there, these two, they hoist it up whether it's raining or not. <laughs> <laughs> so you always have to. Shaved. Yes, you always have to be shaved and ready. No, I'm, I don't like hairy armpits and hairy and legs, legs and, and no. I, I quite, I quite admired her actually. You know, I envied her as well because. The tyranny of having to shave and pluck and use machines to remove hair all the time. Yeah, you know, the machines that you, I used to take the hairs off my legs, the ones that kill you, you know, the epilator no, no, thing. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, it's just a nightmare. I, I Was it a mistake on this girl's part, though? Or, or, no, no, or does no. she just think, not shave? I think she just doesn't shave her legs, and good for her. She doesn't want to shave her legs. What's wrong with that? Why is everyone judging her? Footballer? It's no, it's not. If she doesn't want to, leave her alone. I thought she looked great. Right, I agree. No, if she doesn't want to, which is odd, but if she if she doesn't <laughs> if she doesn't want to, why is it odd? Then, well, if she probably thinks you're odd standing in the shower with a razor going. She, pro she, she probably does, and, and and that is her, that is her want, Carol McGiffin, to think that I'm odd. But I think that's odd that she doesn't want to. If she doesn't, it's when you've got to be careful. Is when it's a mistake, like when Julia Roberts did that yeah. that wave thing with a bit of a bush going on there. That wasn't very <laughs> attractive. Yeah, that was a mistake. Maybe she likes no, the hairy armpit. I read about it in one of the magazines where it had been circled like that. When, and you know that you've got you to be careful because it it'll get well, it circled. You read it in one of the magazines. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know I believe everything I read in there. That's right. You know, you know you're in. You know you're in trouble when you've been circled. Mm. Okay. Uh, talking of Hollywood glamour, Lady Gaga has hit out at Hollywood A-listers for failing to maintain a glittery showbiz facade. She said, "You see legendary people taking out their trash. I think it's destroying show business. But should a Hollywood actress or a Hollywood star always look like a star in public?" Look, I took my rubbish out once and she saw me. What can I say? Do you know what I mean? It was, it was a big, big mistake and I lived, I lived to regret it. Well. <laughs> you had um, to imagine it. To do I that. sort of, I sort of, um, I think she's, she's kind of delightfully odd, lit Lady Gaga. And I think that she's certainly maintaining an image. If you're prepared to wear what she wears, to come out backstage and go and sit in a restaurant in a sort of plastic dress like she does then good, good on her. But I sort of get what she means because I think that what I miss nowadays is that, is that when we were young, we didn't believe that people like Doris Day and Marilyn Monroe and, and, and Clark Gable and all of this, it was almost like they weren't really real. A, because there wasn't the paparazzi attention that sort of that spoils everything now. But they, my, my ex-agent, Lindsay, who I, I loved dearly, is the daughter of Stuart Granger, the movie star, the swashbuckler. And when she would tell me normal stories about when Dad was brushing his teeth in the morning, it was like incomprehensible to me. Of course it was her dad, and of course he brushed his teeth when he was going out to do a film with Hedy Lamarr, Rita Hayworth. But it was because yeah. they were sort of so different, because we never saw those, those pictures. And I, I kind of know what she means, and I wish that in a way we could go back to that, that there was a sort of difference yeah, between the big Hollywood it's stars. It's not really healthy, though, is it? It's not really healthy to put people, and that's all they are, they're just people at the end of the day, on a pedestal and think that they're something greater than, than everybody else, because they're not. They're just but people, they're, they're very famous. good at their jobs. No, they're just... They're the same as us, and, you know, I, I don't care if they put their own trash out or not. I mean, I, and I do like Lady Gaga, but she just always looks so uncomfortable. It's like, she looks like she wants to take all her and clothes off scratch. and have a good scratch, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, I just don't see, I don't I see the point of that. that. She's upholding something, an image, and I, I admire yeah. her for that. But and she's at glamorous the same time, at all times. I think it's good yes, that we know people are real. she's also on a different planet. 
Yeah. As much as she nice. I don't think I, she is. I, I think it is just an image thing. She's a control freak. But... Well, I, I so are you. think they all need to come back. You two to at the end. <laughs> I'm going to split you two up. Sorry, Sorry, Colleen. Colleen. Sorry obviously my <laughs> mic's not working again. Um, no, I'd like to see them. I like seeing those pictures of celebs putting their bins out. Do Why you? not? They're normal. And I like it. And I think, yeah, they're one of us. I like it. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, I hate the idea of one day seeing a picture of what Doris Day really looked like. I like the idea that she was just always in gingham. Yeah, but yeah. I bet she always did look gorgeous. She has yeah. people to do her bins. Yeah. yeah. I think anybody who's got such a uh, no life that they can be bothered to put makeup on to put the rubbish out, I think yeah. they need to get a life. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I agree with that. Yeah. Okay, uh, finally, it's bad news for mums, dads, directors, friends, lovers, inspirational teachers, and much missed pets. The organisers of this year's Oscars will give the winners at Sunday's ceremony only 45 seconds each for their acceptance speech, so many people and animals could well be left out. But do you think 45 seconds is enough time if you're an Oscar winner, Carol? Could you cram it all in? Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm so bored by all that self indulgent rubbish. <laughs> and it is, you know, what do you need to say? All you need to say is. Brilliant! Thanks! And then they start thanking everybody. And you know when you start thanking people personally, you know you're going to leave somebody out, someone's going to be upset, it's a nightmare. And then they start blubbing and crying. It's like, oh it's God, only it's a little Oscars. Oscars. So what? Like it's like the crying. biggest thing ever. If I won an it goes Oscar, on forever. if I won an Oscar, it would take me 45 seconds just to catch my breath, let alone say yeah. anything. I think they should be given at least a minute and a half. I, I mean, think that's the to, best bit. I you know, like the whole thing is, if they're, not, if they're not going to... Do the tip when they get up and they go, Thank you very much, I'm, I'm really pleased, and walk off. I think you didn't deserve that. I know, <laughs> one tear. <laughs> to, be honest, uh, to be honest, I, I want to see them crying, <laughs> I want to see a Gwyneth. If I won something like an Oscar, I don't think I would cry, I think I would just sort of squeak. You know, you, you wouldn't know what to say, so you just. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, let's cut it down to yeah. 35 seconds yeah, if Angela wins. Three and a half. I think that, I, I, suppose, I suppose it's so beyond the realms of comprehension of winning something like an Oscar that I, I, I think that, that's, that of course you're going to be excited, but I do agree with you. You can't possibly list, ev list everybody. No. And also it is an entertainment programme even though you have won. The only thing that I draw, I don't mind like an odd tear of like, oh my God, this is so fantastic and brilliant because of course it is. It's when you do, and someone I adore is Kate Winslet and she surprised me by her, you know, gather, gather speech last year which was just cringe making and Gwyneth's which you said you liked that was just to me the most horrific spectacle oh, no, in the entire so oh, God. It it it's only an acting award at the end of the day do you yeah. know what I mean it's still brilliant but it is a in yes but it's still only an acting and award and if you won an Oscar you would still be there a year later I would not speak. I, I bet you I wouldn't I bet you I wouldn't we'll never prove that but I bet you I bet you There's I wouldn't no way you can only talk for 45 seconds I bet you I wouldn't <laughs> ever <laughs> okay <laughs>